Who will save this poor little boy? He is really too hard. Sleeping until he wakes up every day. Counting money until his hands are cramped. Never looks at the logo when he goes to the mall. Buy it all. The boy's biggest worry is too much money. Don't know how to spend it. The girl's chasing him from here to France. The boy's name is Jack. He is not rich and uneducated. So where does his money come from? It turns out that just two days ago, Jack and his friend Kate were swimming. Some thugs took their clothes, they had no choice. They were looking for old clothes to wear in the garbage bin next to them. Jack found a pair of pants by the trash can. Just as he was going to buy some chili peppers, just remembered that the money was also stolen. But when he dug into his pocket, he found a bill. What's even more amazing is that he pulled out another one. Pants pocket is obviously empty, but he was able to pull out a steady stream of money. He instantly became a rich man. They went home and started pulling out money over and over again. Their hands were blistered until the money spread all over the house. Then they used the money to take a bath. Then they start spending like crazy. They want the best toys. Snacks must be the most expensive. Even the cell phone must be the highest end. Of course. They also forgot to order a children's premium Pro Max customized package. When checking out, he was so proud of his operation. Even the cashier's sister was stunned. When it was time to go home, he directly bought a 30-meter luxury car. Even bought the driver too. They spend money like this every day. The little girls on the roadside looked at them like they were aliens, looking at a room full of money that's going to get moldy. But how can not spend it all? This makes Jack very annoyed. Every day just playing games and forget these worries. When his father came home, the two of them hid their toys, fearing that his father would find something unusual. But there's no such thing as an impervious wind. The father also soon found Jack's new phone and asked him if he had stolen the money. Jack also did not know how to explain. He just ran out of the house. And then, this little boy just put his hand in his pants pocket and he could pull out unlimited bills. His fingers are all calloused, but such a thing. He didn't know whether to sue his father or not. As he sat on the side of the road hesitating, a homeless man came over and kindly comforted him as a token of appreciation. Jack gave the homeless man a lot of money. Although the homeless man had never seen so much money before, but he thought he couldn't take someone else's money for no reason. He went after him and tried to return the money, but the next moment, he was hit by a passing car. He was thrown into a haystack 66 meters away. Jack was terrified. In order to apologize, when the homeless man was discharged from the hospital, Jack picked him up in his limousine, took him to a presidential suite, let him experience the life of a rich man. When they went home, they felt happy to help others. On their way home, they met many homeless people and begging children. So Jack decided, let his wealth help more people in need. This cute look also gained the respect of everyone. They also found out from the internet. The children in Africa are very short of water. There is even no place to go to school. They would write down the addresses one by one. Then Jack started pulling money out of his pocket over and over again. The helpers put the money in mail bags. They sent it all out anonymously. And before they knew it, a danger was approaching. The bank found a lot of money missing, and the surveillance didn't show any intrusion. This is all too strange. The police were helpless. And the mob over here is already looking for Jack. Because the magical pants were found by them first. They had a confrontation with the police on the way back. The pants were dropped next to the garbage can. At night, Jack was watching TV with his father. The news showed the disappearance of banknotes. Jack panicked, so he told his father about the magic pants. The father obviously did not believe it, but as he watched his son keep pulling out money, the father also panicked. He felt that these pants would definitely bring him a threat. That night, just as they were sleeping, the mob came to the door and took Jack's father. Jack managed to escape when the gang wasn't looking. He found his friends to discuss the plan. They decided to use the pants to ransom people. Meanwhile, the police found through the mall surveillance. They found out that Jack had recently made a fortune. He was identified as a suspect in the loss of bank bills. The mob boss also soon contacted Jack, asking him to hand over his magic pants, or he would never see his father again. They arrived at the designated location. Kate was a good sport, decided to go out and try to find out. Unfortunately, the mob took him away directly, and Jack and his assistant used their cell phones to locate. They found Kate's location. Jack found a homeless man to help. Let him drive to rescue his father. But I did not expect that the police were also arresting Jack and blocked the way. The homeless man a 361 degree drift in place and fled into the path. The homeless man let Jack and his assistant run first. Then he drove to distract the police. After the two of them trekked through the 
mountains, finally found the gangster base, and then, this is a pair of magical pants that can pull out unlimited money, but the assistant poured gasoline directly on the pants, she wants to trade the pants for a hostage, she threatened the black boss to let Jack's father go first, otherwise, the pants will be burned. There was no choice. The black boss could only compromise for the time being. He asked his men, bring Jack's father and Kate out. Then he asked Jack to bring the pants to him. Jack told his father to leave first. He threw down the pants. Then he turned around and tried to leave. Jack was still a kid and did not expect the black boss will not let them go. Just then, the homeless man reappeared. Just see him a dragon tail swing and he knocked the gangsters to the ground. Jack grabbed his pants and got in the car. The gangsters followed him and started shooting at him with guns. The homeless man was unfortunately shot. The car lost control and crashed into the sand. They had to abandon the car to escape. They arrived at an ironworks. The gangsters also caught up with them at that moment. It didn't take long. The black boss had Jack cornered. Jack began to threaten him. Come closer and throw the pants off the furnace. At the same time, Jack's father arrived. Began to fight with the black boss. But the father was no match for the black boss. Soon he was pinned to the ground. The critical moment. Jack picked up the gun on the ground and pointed it at the black boss. He threw his pants to his father. At this moment, the black boss also wanted to jump over and grab the gun. At this moment, the police finally arrived. The policewoman asked to take away the magic pants, but Jack's father threw them directly into the furnace. This pair of pants brought too much danger to his son. He almost lost his life. He did not want these magic pants to exist in the world. A battle over the pants was started. Jack also broke the law. But they used the money for charity. Helped countless poor African children so that they have water to drink in school to go to. Jack's family was eventually acquitted. They returned to a peaceful and quiet life. If you had a pair of these magical pants, what would you buy first? Please leave your comments in the comment section. End of the movie.